not everyone needs to race in the first mile. And a lot of people go out fast and kill themselves in that one. And I know that there's so many good girls. And I didn't want to get past or die out and pass by them. So I just listened to my coach and wait till the third mile to take it out. To make sure I could keep pace. And I just gave it everything I got. My leg is all dead. Right. Did you talk to your sister this week? Yeah. Yeah, what'd she say? She told me and she said, you know, it's not, it's not about putting pressure on yourself. And you just have to go out and have fun. And all these girls work so hard. And that. But whatever happens today, you know, she just worried about it, and she's just really supportive, but she's always there for me, and I can learn a lot from her, she got injured a lot, so training, pushing her body so hard, because she's been like a great role model for me, and always helped me through So I'm lucky to have somebody to look up to like that, who can tell me how to run and how to handle myself in big races like this. You talked to her yesterday or Thursday? Talked to her yesterday and today. Oh, all right. <laughs> I was coming in as a freshman, there's so much great competition and all these girls are so much bigger and like taller and it's really scary getting on the line with all these girls who, you know, what they are capable of. But it's great coming in because I don't have to like beat a previous time or something, I'm just fresh out here. So it takes away a lot of pressure but I've, I've never run here before. Um, so. Really? It's your first time on the course? Well, I ran a race over the summer. Okay. But since then, this is my second time I've ever run in this course. So. Running, it's just a blast. I don't know. I just had so much fun today. Uh, yeah. Thank you so much.